the modern left is exceptionally good at offering an actual affirmative vision of what it stands for. Your identity is based on your race, your sex, your sexual orientation, that there are certain existential threats that we have to work together to scale, most popularly now, climate change. That fills a void, a human hunger, a human yearning for purpose and meaning that all of us have as human beings. The left, particularly the modern neo-progressive woke left, is masterful at actually filling that void. That's where conservatives fail. We say that we're against big government. We're against those agendas. What is our vision that actually fills that void of purpose and meaning? We haven't risen to that occasion, not in a very long time. Ronald Reagan did it, but we haven't done it in a generation since. I think that's an opportunity for us to say that here's actually what we stand for. Here's what I stand for, and I'm unapologetic about it. We're going on a four-day bus tour in Iowa starting this evening. And I'm going to be very clear about what it is we actually stand for reviving in this country that dilutes that left-wing agenda to irrelevance where it belongs. We believe in the individual, the idea that every individual matters regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of the genetic characteristics they inherit on the day they're born. We believe in the family, the best-known governing institution known to mankind. Yes, big government is bad, but we still require some form of ordering a society. The family unit is what we need to revive to do it. We believe that we are citizens of a nation and that means something. Yes, that comes with civic responsibilities and civic duties that each of us embrace. And yes, we believe in something higher, a higher power. In God we trust, we say that for a reason. When we say in God we trust, it means in government we distrust, but that we are one nation under God, that our equality didn't just emerge in a vacuum, but that, that we're actually equal as citizens because we're equal in the eyes of God, because God resides in each of us, and that, yes, we're willing to talk about faith and about God in the open, despite becoming squeamish or even, dare I say, prudish about it, which is where we are in our culture. So you know what? The left does have their vision, race, gender, sexual orientation, climate change, and so on. But if we do our jobs, we have our vision too, the individual, the family. Yes, that we're a citizen of a nation, this nation, America, and yes, that this nation was created as one nation under God, a higher power that binds us together. That's what I'm going to be talking about through our four-day bus tour across Iowa. We just got off our bus tour in New Hampshire where I talked about America First 2.0, the policy commitments I'm going to make in Iowa over the next few days, we're going to get even a little bit more fundamental than that. That's what we're missing in the conservative movement. That's the gap I'm filling. As Ronald Reagan did it in 1980, that's what we're going to do in 2024, and I'm going to do it without apologizing.